Hard to believe that less than a week ago, this little guy was about to lose his life. Yes, you were. But thanks to some amazing people, he now has a second chance. He has enough love to fill a kingdom. But just a week ago, a dog called King almost lost the chance to give it. Somebody had to step up right then. Luckily, in Cedar Rapids, there's a spot called Last Hope Animal Rescue, where Sonia Brandley and her daughter Reese heard about a dog down in Texas. They said that they had this wonderful one-year-old dog that had been hit by a car, surrendered by its owners, and um, they didn't have anywhere for him to go, and he was scheduled to be euthanized the next day. It took an army. Pilots with private planes who donated time and gas. Shelters along the way made sure he was okay. <laughs> Until Wednesday, with royal treatment, King arrived in his new home, where it was love at first sight. A few days later, I mean, I've only had him a day and a half, and we're in love with him. King Arlo, as he's now called, on, is come. regally scooting around. Come on. But there might be hope one day he'll walk again. We were ordering his um, wheelchair online, and um, I reached down to pet him, and he wagged his tail. The other volunteer and I both looked at each other and go, did he just wag his tail? In fact, there's a lot this guy can do. He's sweet. He's sweet. He climbs in your lap. He, he paws at you to, to pet him. He's, you know, people who say that, oh, he, there's no quality of life there. I don't believe that for a minute. Turns out last hope was his best hope. The moral of the story, I guess, is he gets his opportunity to be happy and healthy and maybe someday walk. We don't know. For now, he's safe and sound in his new home, fit for a king. All of this was able to happen because a lot of people gave their time and their money to make it happen. You can help dogs just like this one. We'll put a link on our website. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Joy Howe, CBS 2 News, live at 5.